everybody it's boring old guy here so today i'm up on top of the mckenzie pass and i'm right at sunrise check out the colors there maybe i should get my hat on huh <laughs> wow colors in the sky cool so i should be able to get some um sun as it peaks onto the mountains around me and then there's something real special here to show you also so Glad you could join me. Let's have some fun. So on the left there is the north sister. On the right is the middle sister. And I am in the lava fields on the north side of the volcanoes. It is so cool up here. So the highlight of this trip up here is the D. Wright Observatory. This was built by the CCCs back in the 30s out of the native stone up here. So this is the primary thing that I came to show you. Let's take a walk up. All right. All right, so here we go onto the inside here. And I've got these windows. Oh, there's Mount Washington. That's Jefferson. Seeing the sun is starting to hit the sisters. What a cool place. <laughs> and there's an upper deck as well. And head up there. rising sun hitting those peaks so cool all right here's the upper observation deck 360 views and this pedestal in the middle it's going to tell you the names of the peaks how far away they are, their elevations. So say there's Scott Mountain, 5.8 miles away. Yeah, let's see, let's get over here. Black Butte, 12.4 miles away, huh? How about Mount Washington, which is five miles away? cool. <laughs> How about those sisters? Got little brother, middle sister, north sister, six, seven, five miles away. So little brother is that guy right there off to the side that you can barely even see, just dwarfed by the sisters. This place is just so cool. There's a path there that wanders through the lava fields with some interpretive signs. And we'll go down there next. They have some interpretive signs over here to tell you a little bit about the history. little early geology. Now, D. Wright was a supervisor with the CCCs 
And he started this project, unfortunately died before it was completed, but they named it after him. And of course, white man wasn't the first one here. This is a very popular daytime destination. Here at sunrise, I'm the only one. It's kind of what I was hoping. It's easier to do my filming when there's not a whole lot of people around. So my girl has been waiting patiently in the car for me to finish up what I'm doing up here. I'll go get her and we'll do that walk down through the lava field. Are you happy to be out of the car? Are you? <laughs> Come on, this way. This way. Over here. Lava River National Recreation Trail. Half mile loop. Wheelchair accessible. Standing amid a sea of lava that covers an area of nearly 50 square miles. We are there. AA lava. There are several types of lava. The lava in this area is block or AA lava. AA is a Hawaiian term, <laughs> which is pronounced ah uh ah. -uh. It's a basaltic lava. All right. Characterized by jagged edges. I love the lichens. skeletal trees tough life for a tree up here old wagon road this portion of the mckenzie salt springs and Chutes wagon road constructed during the period of 1866 to 1872 lava gutter You've reached the midstream of the lava river. As lava at the edge of the flow cooled and hardened, heat kept the rock molten in the middle. The molten lava continued to flow onward in a channel. Oh, <laughs> cool. Pretty chilly up here this morning. It is October 6th. The temperature's in the 30s up here. Pressure Ridge. A series of mounds out towards Mount Jefferson are upheaval or pressure ridges. All right, the trail splits here and does loop around cooling crack. As the solidified lava continued to cool, it began to contract. Surface cracks like these formed when tensions caused by the shrinking of the cooling lava were greater than the lava strength and the hardened rock was pulled apart. We'll look back towards the observatory now. Sun's hitting it. A couple of people pulled in. What a fun place. Don't you think so? Isn't it a fun place? 
<laughs> a water story. In the winter, there may be up to 20 feet of snow here. Yet as you look around, no streams. It all goes underground, seeps into the fractured lava. Seeps into the fractured lava and flows into a great underground reservoir that feeds the headwaters of the McKenzie River to the west and the Metolius River to the east. Ooh, we got a couple of different ways to go here with the signs. Here we go. Lava levee. As lava near the edge of the flow cooled, it hardened into solid rock. As additional lava pushed up against the solid rock, it solidified, piled higher and higher to form banks. snack at the coffee shop was great so this is the village green i've shown you this before in previous videos yeah, i love this place they have free bathrooms they have a couple of shower stalls that you can pay for so if you're camping out this way got some place to go lots of trees to sniff <laughs> Nice place to have a picnic. So the uh, leaves are really starting to turn in town. I'm gonna walk around a little bit, go in some shops, just be a tourist. <laughs> Just got to say hi. Got love fall. Oh, they got a farmer's market going on over here. Oh, 
It's more like an artist's market than a farmer's market. How much fun. Well, I've had a great time this morning. Thanks for joining me. So until next week, take a hike. Be blessed.